Hey, uh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, we've got to bring, uh, bring on a great guest now. He is running for Congress in the uh, Middle Tennessee area, 5th District, a Cuban-American, director, producer, free thinker, proud dad. And, uh, of course, I'm talking about Robbie Starbuck is with us here on the Ringside Politics program. And, uh, Robbie, how are you? Good morning. I'm doing well. Thanks for having me on, Jeff. Hey, my pleasure, and uh, I just want to give kudos to you for running, and uh, I look through your platform, it looks strong, and it uh, looks like you've got great reasons for uh, running, and great endorsements, including some of my favorite people, such as Senator Rand Paul, what a hero, who, uh, who won last night. Yep, Rand is the best, absolute best. Uh, another guy I liked, I was sad to see what happened to him, and that is Madison Cawthorn. I know he is one of the people that was strongly endorsing you. Uh, your thoughts about that? Well, you know, I think the establishment went really hard after him. I mean, whenever you have somebody who sort of um, shakes things up and is, you know, really a threat to the establishment, they're going to try to do everything they can to take them down. Unfortunately for Madison, you know, he grew up, um, I'm just in the generation that got away from this, and Madison unfortunately is not. In his generation, everything's online, everything's recorded, everybody had a camera in their hands. And I think you're going to see this, you know, as time goes on with candidates, it's going to become really hard to get any candidates who don't have some stuff from when they were 18, you know, or maybe even before they were 18, that um, is potential oppo. And unfortunately, what the establishment did, I think, is really dirty and vile because it's not a reflection of who Madison is today, what he did when he was younger. And I think the one conversation I haven't seen anybody have is all this oppo that was dumped on him. This stuff happened in the wake of him experiencing a horrific accident that most people can't comprehend psychologically what he went through to overcome it. And so I think that's something people have to keep in mind is there was a lot of hits taken on a very young man who was dealing with a horrific situation mm -hmm. and overcame right. it ultimately and is a different person today.